future Maddie here. All of that footage was filmed on the Insta360 1R 360 edition. And I was just talking to the Insta360 guys and they wanna do a giveaway of one of those. So if you want an Insta360 1R 360 edition, all you gotta do is subscribe to my channel and their channel and then comment down below with your Instagram handle so that we can contact you. Best of luck and back to the video. Good morning from the cottage. Uh, this year is a little bit of a weird year here at the cottage. We have this like caterpillar moth infestation. Uh, I think they're called gypsy moths. Uh, and the caterpillars are just everywhere. Like look, look at this branch for example. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They're all, they're all in the trees everywhere to the point all the leaves from like at least half, if not more of, of the trees, all of the leaves are gone. Just chewed up, gone, gone, gone. Even the pine needles are being destroyed. Look, pine needles all down here. This is all pine needles. It's really weird and creepy. And you might be saying, why don't you, why don't you kill the caterpillar? Literally we're killing them all the time. And, and instantly, even little, little tree like this, caterpillars, 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 everywhere, every tree, every little shrub, all the, the ground is full of leaves, like it's fall, but really it's just, they've been eating them. Look at this, caterpillars, caterpillars, caterpillars. Just right here alone, there's probably about a hundred of them and they're now starting to cocoon you can see they're starting to build their cocoons here. Uh, then they turn into moths and apparently uh, they're supposed to move on, but yeah, look at this, look at this forest. No leaves. These two weeks ago when I was here last, these were all full leaves on these trees. Now there's nothing, literally all gone. Like it's fall or winter, all done. And you can actually, you guys probably can't hear it, but yep, still happening. You can hear them chewing. It's kind of like, I, I describe it as light rain. It sounds like it's raining all the time. It's sunny, there's no rain right now, but all the time it sounds like it's raining and they're, they're just munching away at the leaves and little things are falling. You think, well, there's no, there's no trees here. Well, they're just hanging in the air. It's a day later and I just realized all of this, this is all Caterpillar poop. Caterpillar poop. All of these little balls. This is all caterpillar poop everywhere. All of this. And I dealt with all these yesterday. I brushed all of these caterpillars. These are all caterpillars right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. I brushed all these off and they're like zombies. They just return. Uh, and I realized that they're actually going in the grooves here. And these are all cocoons all the way up this whole tree, it's just cocoons from these caterpillars in between these grooves. And just to be clear, this is an invasive species. This is not supposed to be here and is completely just decimating the forest to the point where a lot of these trees might not ever recover from this. So it is not, not good. But of course, you guys probably don't care about my uh, caterpillar infestation troubles. Uh, so let's talk about uh, the best action camera money can buy, which is on the end of this, this ridiculously weird best action camera money can buy, I recommend. This has gotta be the stupidest contraption, but the outcome is pretty cool. So you might be asking, why didn't I review the Insta360 1R when it came out? And that was partly because the, the early version that I got uh, didn't work quite properly. I filmed a bunch of cool snowboarding footage with uh, my friend Yuri from the Straight Pipes. <laughs> And there was a problem with my camera, with the stitching because it was pre-production and all that stuff. So the reason I didn't review the Insta360 1R 
initially was because I felt like there were some bugs, some things that they hadn't quite worked out yet. Uh, I think they were a little bit too soon in putting it out, but now it's been a, a good little while they've been able to iron out a bunch of the kinks. And you guys know the Insta360 ONE X was by far my favorite action we got some waves coming. It was my favorite action camera, and that's mostly because it was so easy to use, unlimited angles to choose from, and the disappearing stick. This stick actually disappears and you can't see it. It unlocks so many different possibilities, so many different things that you can do, and it just makes the viewer think like, wait, how did they film that? And the One R, they basically fixed some of the limitations that the One X had. For example, the One R is waterproof, which is really great because whenever I would go like jet skiing and do 360 footage, I could literally break my camera at any time because the One X was not waterproof at all. Another issue I've had is, is that I'll scratch the lenses every once in a while. I think I've broken two uh, One Xs because I've scratched the lenses. Well, now you don't have to replace everything. You can just replace the three 60 camera module because uh, if you didn't know the 1R is actually modular so there's the battery pack here the 360 lens which can be also changed into uh, like a 4k uh, GoPro action style camera or the one inch sensor the 5.3k one inch sensor and then this is the brains and also the LCD screen so this is a modular system it's not just a 360 camera it's not just an action camera it's a whole bunch of stuff in one so I like that I can just replace the 360 lens instead of getting a whole new camera if I scratch it up a little bit. And then the third thing that they were trying to fix was the post side. If you've used 360 cameras, you know that the biggest downside is the post. It's a bit of a headache. It's not, you can't just grab the footage like from a GoPro and start editing with it right away. You gotta grab the footage, choose which angles you want, then export those. It, there's a few steps to it, but honestly, once you get used to it, it's pretty easy, especially using the app. And you, you can basically just like choose what angle you want as you're watching it recording those camera movements it's really easy once you do it but now they have this auto selection where you can just let the software choose uh, different frames or angles that it thinks are good so it might you know choose a, a, a Kai running or then my face it might choose a few different angles from that one shot and then export all of those different angles for me now the one big change they made is now you have to use this cage to hold this whole thing together and to mount it to the stick which is which is great because it's a, an extra level of protection for the camera and it's nice that it's the GoPro mount because we all have like a million different GoPro mount accessories but it does add one uh, level of mistake that you might make and that is if you don't have it exactly straight so for, let's say for example you had the camera like this uh, your stitch is gonna be terrible and this whole stick is gonna actually show so you have to have it perfectly straight for the stick to disappear before you would literally just screw this uh, extension stick straight to the One X. And I kind of like that better. I kind of wish if you could just get rid of the whole cage, I don't know if that's possible or not, and you would be able to just screw the, the extension stick straight into that battery pack. Kind of wish it was like that, but I do appreciate that uh, it is a little bit more durable and the GoPro mount. They also have this like 360 mod for your drone, so you can actually make your uh, Mavic 2 A360 camera. It basically splits up this 360 camera into two lenses, so one goes on top and one goes on bottom. That's how I filmed those drone shots in the beginning. Um, so far my experience is that it's it's pretty cool it's fun to play around with but it's it's like a huge headache it's really annoying to set up and then the shots are like i don't know if they're any better than i would get just from the drone itself but i could see some like special use cases where it's really hard to follow something and it's just way easier to just fly the drone and worry about selecting the frames later in post or if for some reason you need to literally be able to see everything that's going around um i don't know maybe it's like some uh, sporting event and you just literally just hover the drone above and you just fly it back and forth and then you can select as many shots as you want. Uh, sorry for the boat distractions. So yeah, mixed results on the drone. It's fun, it gets some cool shots, but it's also a bit of a pain in the butt right now. I didn't mention that the 360 drone thing would be incredible for FPV drones. That's like, that's what it should be made for because it's really hard not only to fly an FPV drone, but to get a really cool shot because you can't really tell exactly what you're filming. 
it's really hard with a 360 camera you could choose whatever frame you want afterwards uh, so please make this for f PV drones. But overall, the Insta360 1R is by far the best action camera. The shots that you can get are just so cool. There's so many times where I, I'm filming with this and I'm like, that looks insane. Whereas when I'm filming with something like a GoPro, it's always so lackluster and so disappointing. It's, it's not perfectly tilted to the, the right direction. I miss the action or I just have that one shot instead of having unlimited different angles that I can choose from this. Um, I would say this is the perfect action camera to the point that I don't really use any other action cameras now except if you need to film something underwater. This does not do underwater well because of the way stitching gets all messed up because of uh, water warping it. Uh, but other than that, unless I'm like snorkeling underwater, I am using this for everything. This is what I would recommend and I just love that hopefully you'll be able to just upgrade the sensor for example and get a better camera instead of having to buy the whole thing over again. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I like it a lot. One thing I probably didn't talk about enough is that they tried to attempt to fix some of the post uh, pain in the buttness. Uh, I don't know if that's a term, but it is now. They've tried to do a bunch of auto features, a bunch of AI stuff, essentially trying to figure out what kind of shots you would choose and then helping you out with that. And there's some pretty cool little effects and some of them are a little bit more gimmicky and some of them are pretty cool. Most of the time, I don't really use any of the AI stuff. So the post side is still a pain in the butt and I do hope they just double down on this 360 stuff and just figure out easier and easier and better and better ways to deal with the 360 footage to get our actual fixed frame shots. And even though it is still a pain in the butt to deal with the 360 footage, like it took me a couple hours going through all that footage and choosing the different shots, the results are still just so insane. Every time I look at the footage, I'm like, what? Like, how is that possible? Whereas when you're using something like a GoPro or action camera, the normal stuff, it's much easier to work with, but the results are usually just pretty mediocre and lackluster. And you're like, cool. I do hope that they make some sort of good software plugin for Premiere and Final Cut though. That's missing. I'm not getting paid to say any of this. I legit recommend this thing to everybody if they wanna use some sort of action camera style. The only downside to something like this camera is that it's not gonna be as high quality as something like a GoPro or a DJI Osmo Action. But honestly, when we're looking for that action camera angle, I don't think we're expecting the best quality. I don't think, it like, yeah, we want decent quality, but you don't need perfect, you don't need quality like this EOS R quality. It would be great if you could. Um, this is 5.7K and when it's cropping into a, a selected frame, yeah, it's gonna be a lot less, but I think it's plenty. Even in the 3K slow motion, it still looks awesome. Uh, the biggest thing is the disappearing stick. If you have not used one of these before, I highly, highly recommend it. And I say that to everybody. I'm not getting paid to say this. I say it to everybody, ask anybody I know. I'm always like, oh, you should, use a, you should use a 360 camera. I don't know if this is gonna be a good idea or not, but I'm gonna jump in the water with this. I think the neighbors probably think I'm officially crazy. I have the most ridiculous job. Are right, you ready to go home, buddy? Yeah. Did you get everything? Yeah. Just peed 15 times. <laughs> the life of a pregnant woman. Oh, you like. Perfect. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Mom. A moon again? A banana moon. Oh, it's another banana moon? Yeah, I see it. Another great weekend of great memories and a sunburn. Bad you. I'm looking for you.